Hello everybody and welcome to uh, something that isn't Smash Bros. Over test video and I also promise this is probably the last time we need to start on the Wii menu, okay? Because now that statement's actually true. Now we're actually going. And let's, uh, let's play at least. So I, I decided this one looked better, like... The blob, I realize, is gonna have issues due to color blindness and like how long the levels get and stuff. And I mean, this one probably might have longer levels later on, but the blob just starts out as a long game. Uh, I'm actually gonna make a second file because I'm gonna use that first file so I can play the game and judge how long each level will take. I, I honestly don't know if I should be quiet here because I quiet for the test video. Oh shoot, did I make TV turn up? I don't, oops. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave it at 5. That's what I had in the test video. I don't know if that was too quiet though. Oh, I forgot the reason. I don't I meant to read all that. I kind of forgot to. My bad. <laughs> Granted, I probably wouldn't be able to read that fast enough. That went by kind of quick. And I have the reading level of like an elementary schooler. <laughs> Yeah, I could not keep up with that. I most it. It's fine, though. And now we actually got to listen to me read. Oh, boy. Also, how is reading levels determined? Is it based on, like, how many com complicated words there are? Or, like, the length of the book? Or how fast you read? I guess it's just the other two. Because they wouldn't know the first thing to judge how I the book it. I never thought about that. Mr. Wario, welcome to the Shake Dimension. Hold on there, just a moment now. I'm not doing voices. 
Our greatest treasure, the bottomless coin sack, has been stolen. Stolen by a vicious pirate known as the Shake King. But don't go, or, but don't get your long johns in a twist. I've, o or I found a way. Right, I have a way to find the Shake King. That's your sentence to me. First, you'll have to beat the bosses who rule the five continents of this here world. Gosh, I almost forgot, Mr. Wario. You'll need to collect the five boss emblems. Without those, we can't find the Shake King's ship. That's where my queen, Queen Merelda, uh, is being held against her will. Please, Mr. Wario, I beg you to save Queen Merelda. So in other words, wh wherever this Queen Merelda is, we should also find the bottomless coin sack, get me? So what do you think, Wario? Think you can handle it, handsome? Oh, thank you, thank you. Excellent, now that, that that's decided, let's not waste any more time. Why don't you warm up by grabbing the treasure off the ship? You can handle this yourself, huh? Uh, trying to hug all the treasure, eh? <laughs> he just agrees. If that's how you want it, for the moment, we'll split up. Mr. Wario, if you save my friends, I'm sure that they will be of help along the way. Careful though, Wario. Once you've rescued a Murphle, get back fast. If you don't return to the starting gate fast enough, you won't be able to take the treasure you found with you. Well then, I'll leave it to you. We'll see you around, handsome. Good luck. Bye, Wario. On the right side, due to the fact that I played this for that test video, uh, I know what I'm doing for this now. So I can just quickly go through it. And also, you know, not skip over this pipe like a complete idiot thinking that was the correct pipe and then forgetting I skip the pipe when I go through this one. The worst part about it, I was like, huh. I wonder which one of these is the correct one, and then I never remember that it existed. Cause I'm dumb. And, get that money first. Just believe it or not, money in a Mario game, kind of important. What a, what a shocker. Off of Band Nero's head. I guess these guys are called Band Nero's. That means if I'm under this block. Oh, that happens. Neat. That would damage you, that's why I didn't do it in the test steps. So I guess another reason to have the, the first file too, so that way uh, I can actually try to figure out where these treasure chest stuff are, are and whatnot. So it's a good way to help me figure out how fast this is all going to go, and also, or like, so I don't have any levels to go through. And also, just like. I need the secrets. Oh, pop. That's weird. It wasn't like a... Oh. Oh, you can charge up slow so you don't slide down. Neat. I missed the pop. Now I'm upset. So can I crawl normally? Okay, I can. I don't know why I kept trying to go back to the left, that was weird. 
I assume if I kill you, you have to drop the garlic? Yeah. Makes sense. You gotta shake them for the stuff. You can't just murder them. Dang. I screwed up again. There. And I mean, they don't specifically mention it, but... Honestly, I kind of like how they're just gonna let it be up to you to realize that when you break one of those, the red blocks swap with the blue box. Because, uh, that, that's gonna be one thing that we definitely gotta pay attention to. Because unlike, uh, Mario Maker 2, there, there is no on-off switch is what I can remember. So you gotta pay attention. Hooray! Got that tiny little crown. You've completed all the missions in aboard the sweet stuff. You've unlocked this stage's background music. Oh, so that's what that does. Sweet stuff. See what's happening over here. Might as well have s some different. Well, I mean, it's 12 minutes through the video, anyways. Let's, might as well see what else there is besides the first level. Uh, welcome, Mario. Oh, come on in. Since you won't be meeting me on your trip, I'm opening a pirate shop. To celebrate our grand opening, I'll give you a special deal on area map one. And this is why money is important. We need to buy the mats. And also these. Oh, that is the opening movie. It's sold out. Covers your health when you run out of hearts. Sends your life meter by one heart. Nothing can stop you now. Well, that one's sold out. Well, I'll take this, I guess. I mean, I think we got enough time to do one more level. I think most, like, half this video was just the cutscene anyways. So as long as there's not tax, we should be fine. City. Apparently. It should be easy for you. Uh, we gotta finish before we hit two minutes. I want to assume that's what that means. And collect 25,000 coins, jump off three Banjiro's heads in a row, and there's three treasure chests, because there's always three treasure chests. Sounds easy enough. I want to assume that the timer is specifically for when we're escaping. It's on here. Okay. Oh. See, bud. Why would they not, like, stunned to where I could pick them up? The other guy was. Just turn around and go. Did 
dropped money into this pit. And apparently on the pit. There we go. For the registering. Why is this one shaking? Does that mean it has like garlic in it? Or does it just mean it had a lot of money? Yeah, it's just man had money. Uh this way. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Oops. I'm hoping that in future episodes where I actually know what I'm doing a bit more for the level, uh... Oh, I I'm still kind of debating if I should do that first file or not. Well, I missed. They died. I think for this in the next episode, I'll just not do that. I will. Give me this. I want this. Why did it stop? There. Jeez. But, uh... Because it's like, on one hand, knowing what the heck I'm doing, I should probably face the other way for that. But we'll make these levels go by quicker and I know which, how many I can beat in one episode. But at the same time, I get rid of the reactions to anything. It's not like I remember anything about this game, really. Like, I think I can maybe visualize, like, one boss, and that's it. And, like, a handful of rooms here and there. Do I think it's gonna do? No. Oh. Okay. Full body goggles. Can I look up? How do I? You know what? Maybe they become. Dagger now. I'm gonna go look one more time. Do I need to get up there at all? Does look like an upper path though. What's up? Thank goodness you guys can't do any damage to me. Look at that. You're teaching the thing that I already knew. Hello. Can't go that way. Oops. Oh, that's a checkpoint. Okay. Oh, that's not what I expect to have happen. So, can I climb down ladders with you? No, I can place you down. Oh, I almost charged him. That wasn't bad. Okay, I think what I needed to be doing here was jumping off of them. Shoot. But I need to jump off of them. Wait. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Oh, there. Jeez. I'm missing so much stuff right now. Oh, maybe I should have brought them over here. Maybe then I could have jumped off of them to get up there. I don't know. Maybe can I always jump off the balloon guys? I have not figured this out yet. Also, I did not expect those to be able to, like, the money to go, be able to go up the, uh, ladder like that. That was kind of a shocker. Well. Coming with me, I guess. You gotta get out of here in 25 seconds, okay. Wait. I... I said wait because I was like, oh, I should've just, like, walked off. And then I realized... And, and then there was the moment where I was thinking of where I should've just walked off. Oh, God. oh you just put us through those. Okay, well... That didn't go so well. Hang on. This is about to hit the 20 minute mark. Let's just 
Wait for a second. Alright, we're good. Oh shoot, now I gotta do this again. How was I supposed to do that in 20? Well, I guess I did bonk. Would it really say that many seconds though? Would it really say five? Huh. Although, where was I supposed to jump off of three of their heads? What the heck? I can understand the money. I did miss, like, two big giant golden coins. This is whoopsie desert. Well, I guess that'll do it for uh, this episode, though, of Mario Land Shake It. Uh, next episode, I guess we shall go to Whoopsie Desert. And also, I'll go ahead and off camera go f try to figure out this level and where, I where to jump off three do and whatnot. Might as well. So, see you all then. Bye bye.